uh, the standard doesn't fall in that grade level, it doesn't mean that we should not hold it back from our students. Some of the best conversations we have are, are when we leave things a little bit more open and maybe make the numbers a little bit more accessible so that conversations can then open up. But uh, here we go. So you, you've kind of done your calculations. sitting up a little bit higher in your seat now, and some of you are maybe sitting a little bit lower in your seat now, uh, but what I wanted to make sure is I want to give you an opportunity to redeem yourselves. So there's the green apple that we just did. There's a red apple. Uh, what's your gut check? How much longer is the red apple going to be than the green apple? Turn and talk to the person that's next to you.
So here we go, just going to give you a quick little rundown on how long uh, this one is with the video. See if you feel like changing. around the room is hearing how many of you have gone to some levels of math that I have no idea what you're talking about, um, but it's awesome to hear how uh, just talking with, with Chase and Sam and listening to Christopher here, you're talking about uh, stats, you're talking about ratios, you've really blown it up to a whole different proportion, but yet this problem is still accessible uh, to elementary school students. So you have your, uh, you have your numbers, uh, you might need some things, here we go, so here is the reveal. that world is, uh, yeah, it's really cool to see the way, and I would love to know how all of you kind of, uh, can can someone maybe just share, like maybe a ratio, kind of yell out and then share, there were quite a few high fives, maybe just kind of share your thinking, just briefly for one or two people, uh, anyone like to share? Go ahead, please. Uh, we saw that the volume of the second apple was about, give or take, twice the volume of the first apple. We get two of those little apples in the big apple, and we said, well, then the peel's going to be about twice. So we said, so somewhere between, we said 120 and 140, about. Awesome. Nice. Please, Andrew. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> That's well played, my friend. Well played. <laughs> And so here we are doing tasks with apples. And so what does this look like? Uh, what might this look like in, in a kindergarten class? Uh, and so in kindergarten, we might show them a problem such as this. naturally come up and say they need to know how many are in each hand. So we, we, we work through it, we talk through it, and eventually we show them this picture. We get to this place right here. Uh, four orange, two red, two yellow, two white. And I'll ask kids, so how many do you have in your hand? And they'll say four orange, two red, two yellow, two white. And you'll say, great, so how many do you have in your hand? And they'll say four orange, two red, two yellow, <laughs> two white. And so a lot of students don't know to necessarily combine them together. But what they'll do is they might end up drawing them out. Uh, so we let the kids uh, go ahead, take this problem. We said, go back to your desk. We didn't want to teach them anything. This is not one of those teaching moments. It's a learning lesson for us as a teacher. They go back to their desk, and every single kid in the class did this. I'm lying. This is kindergarten. There was one kid in class that did this, and you probably might want them in your class. But what's beautiful is the younger you go, the more... Uh, 
I really appreciate the thinking because they haven't been taught rules or tricks. Uh, so here's what you might get in a kindergarten class. Get something like this. I'm not going to lie, you'll get things like this, and you'll get things like this. <laughs> this student has mastered the art of drawing zeros. But probably not the time or place to go ahead and start pushing through, but at least we know where their learning is. And then you get this student here. Uh, do you see any mathematical goodness here that's happening? I'm going to give you uh, a minute. What do you see? 